Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. Bienvenuto Italy. We're here at Venice for the film festival and with the opening night filmmaker himself, Alfonso Cuaron, for a riveting movie called Gravity. What makes this movie so unique and special for you? Not only are you in outer space, but you got to work with your son. So can you talk a little bit about where the concept for this movie came from? Well, Scott, the, uh, the concept actually came many ways from him because uh, he showed me this screenplay uh, of a film that actually he's going to start direct right now. And he, he wanted notes. And I, I read it and said, I don't have that many notes, but I want you to help me to write the screenplay like this. And the thing is, um, it was to, to, to do something that's really gripping, very contained, uh, that through the whole action, you're dealing with a lot of subject matter and things. In other words, not that you stop to talk about themes and then cut to the action scenes, but everything to be blended in the same journey. And we talked that we wanted to do a film about adversities. And we choose this thing, this shower of debris, as a metaphor for adversities. And once that you're in space, everything becomes very metaphorical. You have, in one side, Earth, Mother Earth, life, human connection. And this character that is, uh, is, he, he is just following her own inertia into the void. Literally living in a bubble, as our character is, pretty much in her own bubble. And it's her whole journey of how she has to learn to come out of that bubble, shred her skin, to learn how to, uh, to walk again. But it's interesting, Alfonso, you inhabit this movie with basically two characters. Was that more challenging or was that more freeing as a filmmaker, not to have a whole you know, plethora of extras to have to deal with? Well, I, I'd say that in, in filmmaking, limitations are, uh, uh, is what frees you. You know, you set your set of rules and limitations, and, and, and that's actually what I think is what shapes the work more, more than, than, than just doing anything. You know, you, you, you set yourself certain limitations, and that was actually the point. That's what we wanted to do. That's what I have read in Ponas' script, that is also two characters, and said, wow, let's contain it like that. And then by doing that, it becomes almost an existential exercise. And I want to ask you the last question is when you see this movie, it is literally a combination of so many different things. You go, is it computer graphics? Is it miniatures? I mean, how was he doing this? So briefly, can you talk without giving too much away, how complicated was it? Because we, I mean, for me as an audience member, I thought I was really watching people in space. Well, with Lubezki, Chivo Lubezki, Manuel Lubezki, the cinematographer, who's done Terrence Malik, most of my films, uh, he, we, we talked that we wanted this to look like, to feel like a Discovery Channel documentary going wrong. Yeah? So uh, we were very adamant that he had to have a hyper-real hyper look. The problem that we found early on is that they didn't exist the technology to make this film. So we have to create our own set of technologies. And that's why this film took four and a half years to make. You know, used to try to figure out how to make it and then just to apply the technology that we invented for the film. Uh, and uh, yeah, and the, the idea was that, that you, what you're watching, we're trying to, not to create a fantasy, but actually something is happening right now up there in space. Would you make a good astronaut? Uh, not a good astronaut. I would love to go to space. I'm not sure I would be the best astronaut. But you get to come to Venice. Well, <laughs> it's a little not, prettier not so than bad. space, yeah. but there's well, noise here. There's sound here in Venice. There's, there's sound. <laughs> But also, great food, man. Food over there sucks. And vino. vino. And vino, exactly. Alfonso, muchas gracias. Scott. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. And this is Scott Orland. Till next time.